Meanwhile, some bars and restaurants in Green Bay are considering asking the state to extend opening hours during the NFL draft. Local 5's Katie M. Ryan tells us what some city officials think about the proposal. The Green Bay area will soon see its biggest crowds ever when the NFL draft comes to town. And bar and restaurant owners with the Brown County Tavern League want to make the most of it while also promoting safety. We have hundreds of thousands of people that are planning to come to Green Bay and we want to make sure that we can serve that many people. And in, in order to do so, we have to be able to relax some of our ordinances so that people can, can go outdoors, uh, that they can you know freely walk between certain types of facilities. Brian Johnson with the Green Bay City Council, along with the Tavern League, proposed to the city's Protection and Policy Committee to extend the hours which bars and restaurants are open to from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. during the NFL draft. When you close your bars at 2 a.m. and you push all of those, they're not allowed to stay inside the facility, right? So you push all of those people out onto the streets at the same time without any access to transportation. That's a recipe for disaster. And so by expanding the hours, you're actually creating a larger window for that for that transportation infrastructure to react and respond. In addition to extending hours, the Tavern League would like to expand their safe ride program into a shuttle service to help bring more transportation options to the community. In a statement from the league's president, she says the primary objective of the Brown County Tavern League to boost the transportation system during the week of the draft, driving guests to different areas of our community so everyone can get around safely. We are going to continue to work with the city of Green Bay and surrounding areas to ensure a pleasant, safe, responsible draft week. While the league has discussed their proposal with city leaders, they have yet to make a formal push to state officials who would have the final say in the matter. In Green Bay, Katie Amrine, Local 5 News. Katie also reached out to the Ashwaubenon Village Administrator who says while they have heard about the proposal in Green Bay, nothing similar has been brought up to village officials.